Hey everyone, how's it going? Dubloon here, and today's another BTD6 video. Today is going to be carved on half cash. So I did carved chimps just because I wanted to be one of the first ones to get it, and I think we were. So that's pretty exciting. But for this one, I am going to almost finish this in black border. I stayed up last night and did all the beginners and the mediums. I just gotta do apocalypse and reverse, and then we will have half cash, and then we'll black border. So I was hoping to get the mediums done before I made this video, so you guys got to see my black border happen. But I'll have to do it on the off time when you guys aren't watching. But um, I am gonna use Pat Futzy because we don't have that much cash, so I just want someone who's gonna stomp through and wreck everybody, and that's definitely gonna be this guy. No monkey knowledge, of course. It is a beginner map, and let's get going on it. But before we begin, please hit the like button, please hit that subscribe button, leave some comments below. Let me know what you guys like. Tell me your favorite part of this new this new map. Um, one of my commenters told me that. Um, the cauldron you can put a sub in it but i maybe they didn't watch the whole video because i had a sub in there but it was kind of cool because he was cooking the sub and the sub was first striking that big old bad so but anyways let's get started we're gonna have to do a couple monkey dart starts because we're not gonna have enough stuff going on here um i don't want i'm gonna put everything in this side so i don't want these guys to bug these guys so we're gonna put that one there and we're going to hope that he has enough. So you guys know how half cash works. So we're going to eat some lives. It always works that way. Um, it's just a bummer, but you got to do what you got to do. So you can do it without monkey knowledge or you could do it with monkey knowledge. And that would definitely, you know, decrease the amount of deaths you get. But it really doesn't matter, guys. It's just as long as you win, you're not trying to black border this one. It doesn't really work like that. So just eat some lives and let it be, guys. You can put it on strong if you want to try to take down those little blue ones. But it really doesn't matter, I guess. Just uh, let it be, let it be. And then we'll get another one to help out a little bit. Put him right here and maybe right there actually. So that gives you a couple chances to hit him. And then what we'll do is we will go straight for a, I was gonna say ninja, but Pat Futsy might be like the way to do it first just so he can get popping, get popping guys. But that's $865. So Quincy would have been a good solid choice for this too, because he's cheap and he pops camo on his own. So um, it would have helped, but you know, we'll do what we got to do. And what my goal was today was to actually, because it is Friday. And so I feel that chimps is a little harder than half cash in certain areas. So on some maps without monkey knowledge, half cash is definitely harder than chimps. But for this one, I feel that, you know, chimps is going to be a little harder. So my point being is that I was kind of wanted to do bloody puddles for you guys on hard rather than do this one for half cash for the big Friday bang. But um, I don't have that much time in my wife for going to dinner tonight and I knew that bloody puddles wasn't going to be like a one shot trick and get it done the first time. So instead of driving myself insane and trying over and over and over and over and over, I thought I'd knock out some half cash so you guys can get that black border if you haven't already because I will leave it to the pros of this game to black border bloody puddles and to teach you guys how. Um, I don't know if they can teach something as crazy as that, but maybe they can. So we're going to black border this, this awesome little skeleton face that Ninja Cube made for us, and we're going to have a good time doing it. So what I want to do, though, is get Pat, but he just costs so much money. So I think we're going to have to buy the Ninja first so we don't die. I'm trying to lose all my lives here. Oh my gosh. So, But these two little ninjas are doing pretty good on their own. I'm pretty proud of these guys. But we have no money. So what do you want? But I think the ninja is probably the best way to do it, actually, just because clean it up and then we'll get Pat Futsy to do his job. He'll he'll work us out a little bit. He'll help us. Um, but for this, well, actually, let's let's play it by ear. We seem to be doing just fine. I mean, we, we might lose like a life or two, but we're really not going to like nothing to write home about, you know. But uh, let's see what happens here. Clean up, clean up, clean up. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. I think we can handle it. We're the pros. We got the dart monkeys, guys. Single little zero zero dart monkeys. I don't see an issue. And um, but yeah, so if you guys haven't checked out this map yet, I would have definitely I'd go the bottom path first, beat some of those chimps, and then work your way up to the top and beat those half cash. Although I do honestly believe that magic monkeys only and double HP mobs is ten times easier than alternate balloon rounds and impoppable. And that's really the case for any map. So um, you guys can beat those first in the bottom path but the first path is pretty cool too and then let's go from there guys and we're almost at 865 we did lose a little bit of lives but we'll be okay we'll live so let's put this guy down right now today sometime there we go 
and let him just punch, punch away, punch, punch away. Now, Pat Futsy is a very, very strong character. I mean, physically and just insanely strong. Like he holds back entire Moabs on his own, ZOMGs and just pushes them back. So if you use him like paired with like a, a boomerang, crocodile monkey looking guy that shoots those back plus the glue gunner you're just gonna have this like death zone where you just you know have as much time as you want to kill everything so that's pretty awesome um what we're gonna do now though is we're going to get a ninja and we're gonna put him behind pat futsy so that'll be our camo popping and our cleanup so pat futsy comes in here and does his thing meanwhile the <coughs> excuse me guys excuse me i guess i'm cut my throat there and then meanwhile, Pat Futsy's doing his thing. So we're going to leave him on strong for now because I don't want those greens slipping through if they don't have to. Or the yellows or whatever you want to call them. But half cash is a little different, guys. It's, it's its own thing. So like, if you threw monkey knowledge down right now, you'd have zero problems. You probably wouldn't lose a single life and you'd be chilling. But you don't always want to... You're not always going to have all the monkey knowledge. Like, if you're just started, like, in the stream last night on Twitch, there's a guy who just started playing and hadn't even maxed out his fifth tiers yet. Hasn't even gotten them all unlocked. And that to me is crazy because I'm so excited that he found this game because it's a great game. But I mean, I didn't even know there's still people still finding the game for the first time. So that's why I make these videos without monkey knowledge because I want everyone to have a shot at it. And, you know, I don't want to just throw in a strategy. It's like, here, you can beat this, but if you're level 130 and you have everything maxed out, so that's not cool. Uh, put on those seeking shurikens to help clean up a little bit here. Um, we got our lead, we got our camo. Yeah, we got everything covered until 40. We just gotta, you know, upgrade the best that we can. Um, I wanna say that Pat and the ninja can handle the Moab on his own if we alchem alchemist them. Is alchemize the word like saying, hey, we gotta alchemize these guys. It should be a word. And if it's not, I'm gonna make it it right now. I'm dubbing it alchemized because he's gonna buff them enough. I think he should be able to take it down. I don't see why not, but I mean, come on, we have no money. This is crazy. We could sell these guys. As soon as we get enough, we will. I mean, what's that? One hundred fifty dollars, though. Ooh, gosh, gee golly. But uh, we'll get this one, and then we'll get the Caltrops, and then yeah. So half cash is the beast. And if you haven't checked out my video on half cash um, spillway, no monkey knowledge, you gotta check that out because that was like. I doubt you're going to be able to follow it because it, it takes a lot of randomness to win it because you're relying on Oban's tree and Bramble Patch to go where you want it to. And if you're an experienced Oban player, you know that he doesn't do that. So I got quite lucky and it wasn't that it was lucky. I did it like a dozen times. I spent an entire week on that one. So just check out if you're down. It's a, it's a crazy experience and it lost my mind. So it'd, be, it'd make me feel great if you guys watched it because it's crazy. <laughs> and it was a crazy one. But um, as you can see, this little Pat Futsy Ninja thing is doing actually really well. And then this thing, Pat's ability is really, really strong. So what that does, for those of you who do not know, is it, it all nearby monkeys can pop plus one lair. That's really strong. So we're going to use that for the Moab as well. And that should be fine. Should. We got that. Let's do some Caltrops too. That'll help us with popping. We just got to pop as much as we can for as little as we can, right? And I was going to say maybe we could afford like a tax shooter, but they just recently nerfed it to where this one is now 30. Oh, I guess it's cheaper on here, but they jumped it to 30. I thought they were jumping it to 30. Was I wrong? Maybe that's on something else. I thought they were jumping that one to 30,000. I saw it on there. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong below, guys. And then, oh, and then let's see here. So now that we got him, I kind of want to go straight for this 2970, but I don't know if we're going to have enough by the time the Moab comes. And so I'm kind of thinking like, hey, should I get a mage instead? Or maybe another ninja? Play it by ear, guys. We'll play it by ear. I'll save up for the 29. If I don't have enough, I'll throw down an alchemist right before level 40. And that's how it'll go. Dude, I haven't been that quiet in a video in a while. That was like a good solid five seconds of quietness. That is crazy. I'm just waiting, just waiting. Half cash is a lot of waiting because you just don't have any money. We could throw down a banana farm and try to get some money, but I mean, 
it's not necessary. This is a pretty relatively easy map. It's one of the easiest, I would say, because the way you guys have been watching the path go down. So it comes all the way around and goes all the way around and then all the way around. So you have more than enough time to attack everything. So it's pretty simple in regards to that. We just got to hope that Pat can pop all these lead. I didn't even think of that. Um, he should be able to, just sometimes he misses. That's why I'm leaving him on strong. And now we'll get the alchemist, hopefully in time for this. And then we'll be good. Be good to go, good to go. Put him right here. Boom, boom. Put him on larger potions, acidic dip. So right when it gets close, we're gonna do this, okay? Rawr. Good job, Pat. Look at that guy go. As long as he can pop him right now, we're gonna be chilling. Yeah, because the ninja can clean all that up. So, Pat is awesome, and the fact that he dragged him all the way back, I definitely thought that that was gonna be a lot harder because it looked like he made it away, like Moab did. But then Pat said, nah, get over here, like Scorpion on Mortal Kombat, get over here. And then next thing you know, he's being pulled back and dying. So, awesome little thing we got going here. And now that we got the little alchemist, we have a camo lead popper in our ninja. So I don't think we should have any problems. And I'm gonna upgrade our alchemist first so I can alchemize all these guys and we'll be chilling. Um, I think Pat's ready to be on first again though. So I had him on strong so he wouldn't mess up those leads, but I think he's ready to be back on first to tear up anything in his path. And yeah, pretty cool guys, pretty cool. And so our strat, we haven't really changed much since the last Moab, so we will need to use this if a Moab does come out in the next couple levels, which I think it will. Unless the Alchemist can hurry up and buff him and get this one up, and I think we might be fine without doing it. But we're going to use it anyway. Let's see here. Look at Pat go. He's so cool. I mean, he's not going to get the most pops, obviously, but he's just so strong. He's just effective. Alright, 40. I think what I want to do now... We can, if we can put one more guy next to our alchemist, right? So should I do mage? Cause I think we'll have enough to get like the $10,000 upgrade and that's more than enough to rock like half of this game if we just had those three towers. I know normally I would choose open and he'd buff them, but to have this guy here too is gonna be really, really helpful. Another one might be the the helicopter would be pretty, pretty awesome too. I'm just trying to think of some towers that'll do some damage without costing too much. And the mage is actually pretty decent because that $10,000 upgrade is like super, super efficient, and super strong. Um, I don't know yet though. The boat's kind of cool too. Sub's cool, everything's cool guys. There's just a lot of cool different things to choose from. I'm gonna little roar him up though. Hey, I'll skip the mage. What of it, what of it, he's awesome. We'll go this one, this one, this one. And this one, this one. So we're gonna save up for that 10,000 if we can, and then we'll probably get like a monkey village to buff them up a little more. And then as you see, we'll just beat this one without even having to use any power-ups now, which is pretty cool. And then we will probably get, actually, you know who's cool? The Druid. I think I'm gonna get the Druid and put him on that little thingy. So pairing, oh, pairing, what's his name? Pairing fat, fat putsy, <laughs> pairing Pat with the Druid of the Storm would be kind of cool, because so, Pat will push back the Moabs, and once they pop, the Druid will send back the balloons. So it's kind of like this little, little valley of death, I think. So we'll try that out as well. And there we go, there we go. The 10,000 is a long way to come. We might actually have to get the Wizard Whirlwind before the $10,000 upgrade, because I think 63 might come before we actually get 10,000. How slow this is going. This is crazy. But yeah, let me know what you guys think below and what you guys used for half cash if you've already beaten it or let me know what you used for bloody puddles because if you've already beaten bloody puddles, hats off to you because that is a crazy map and I tried it a little bit and I just it's going to take a little bit more time than I thought it would. So we'll get to that. But as I told you guys before, I am cleaning up my maps. I'm trying to black border all the first few tile, first few pages. And then with that, I want to start moving on to the intermediates so I did carts and darts, and that's why I did, well, I had spring spring, but then all these came out. So I thought I should make these videos first since everyone's probably all jumping on the new maps, right? And so um, spring spring might be next week. No, 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 not next week. You know why? Because next week is gonna be haunted half cash. It's going to be bloody puddles on hard. 
and it's going to be something else spooky because it's Halloween, guys. We got to rep for Halloween. And Halloween's Thursday, though, so Friday I might do something a little different just because we already missed Halloween, right? But got to represent Halloween after Ninja Kiwi did such a great job with these two new maps. So, especially this one. I really like this one. It just looks really cool. And if you guys didn't catch my video yesterday, I was talking about the spirit of the forest being in there. And once he does little spirit of the forest grappling vines, it outlines the entire map, which just looks really awesome. It looks like uh, it looks like his mouth is just has all these teeth. It's just really cool like that. I like the weird stuff. And if this wasn't half cash, I'd show you another cool thing where you put the the wizard next to the cauldron, and it makes him look like he's like brewing his little potions, which is really cool. Did I just waste my upgrade? I think I did, guys. Bummer. Let's hope he can pop this, to be honest. This is bad. Bad news bears. There we go. I think I went a little too early. Okay, let's get this one to 10,800. Let's do this one again, just in case. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Now we'll be fine. So I am going to get a village next, and then I will probably... Can this handle 63? Oof. Did not think that one through, guys. Um... I want him out of the range of this guy. Maybe over here. Yeah, how about right there? That's a good solid spot. This one, this one. Oh yeah, no problems. No problems at all. You never know a 63. You think you do and then all of a sudden something slips through. You're like, oh man, that was totally my fault. But nothing you can do because you're already dead. But we just need that one and we'll do... I want Druidic Reach, and I want Heart, I don't even want to get Heart of Vengeance. I don't plan on losing any more lives, guys. And then this ability is super strong, too. If you guys don't know about it with Pat Futsy, it literally grabs the Moab BFB ZOMG, just grabs it and says, not today, Junior, and now you don't have it anymore, and it pops it, and it's really cool. But if it is a BFB, it does pop it down to Moabs and ZOMG down to BFBs, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, it's something you didn't have to worry about. So I will show you once one of these comes up, and, um... There you go, look at that. Look at that, how cool is that? And then we'll get the whirlwind storm here. Look at all this craziness. Okay, now I'm gonna get a village to buff these guys. Oh, and when I do, it's gonna put him in the range, huh? That's a bummer. What I'm going on about in my head right now is that once I boost the range of the alchemist, he's gonna put this guy in his range and I don't want that, but eh, it doesn't really matter. We can make it not happen, I guess. But this is actually a pretty easy strat, and I really like the Druid Whirlwind, and I never used it until Chewie gave me his strat for Deflation, and then I started, if I was like, are you kidding me with only 20,000 these Druids are that strong? So, started trying to use them a little more in my own strategies, I've been practicing with them on the medium rounds when I'm just trying to black border and stuff, and they're really, really cool. I mean, they work just like the old uh, Wizards used to do in BTD5, and in battles too. So if you guys didn't know, if you upgrade the the mage in the old games, he had Whirlwind and Lightning. So they kind of made the Druids and then kind of split up their powers like that. So uh, to take a load off of the mage, I guess, or to make him more of like a Necromancer because that one is super awesome and I don't use him either. So to be honest, I think that's going to come up soon, guys. I really, really, really would like to do like a, like a, a ninja, not a ninja, a mage strat with the alchemy or with the, <laughs> I can't even talk right now. I want to do a mage strat with the necromancer mage along with spirit of the forest. I think that'd be cool. It'd be like life and death, you know, nature and death. Just kicking it, having a great time, destroying balloons in their free time, which would be pretty cool. So we're probably going to do something like that. Um, 78 is going to be intense. We don't have to pop any DDT, so I don't think I'm going to get camo popping for my pat. Um, but 78 is going to be kind of a bummer. So we can either get like a recursive. and then But if we got recursive, we'd have to put in the range of the camo. Um, actually, yeah, we're going to have to do that, to be honest. Um, I know these wizards are pretty strong, but still. Recursives are really cool to have. Or we could go with like this one. That'd be kind of cool, too. Let's try that, actually. Something new, guys. Something new. Hopefully, it'll help out on 63. But we're going to go improved rings and then we'll do the moab glives too and we'll do this one so they can pop lead i know the other one's better because it's faster but i'm not gonna get 
MIB for this thing will, will cost too much. So we're gonna do that. But now we have to hope that we can get the 2160 before 78. So we can see camo because at the end of 78, as it's like level 63 with the crazy rushes, but then at the very end you have that super devilish rush of camos and that's just gonna be terrible, terrible, terrible for us. So gotta step that up a little bit. And I think we should have enough. We should be fine. And I'll probably get primary training too because I don't plan on getting MIB like I said, so it'll help to, this guy out as well. And then 78 shouldn't be an issue. And I say shouldn't in quotations, um, quotations. See if that'll help us out. Let's just pop this guy. Get out of here. Get out of here with that. So we can pop camo. Awesome. Okay, cool. Sometimes blowing those things back kind of freaks me out because sometimes it looks like it's just going towards the screen. You never know. Kind of freaks me out, but whatever. We're going to get the Moab Glaives too. They're a total waste and they really don't help that. They don't really help popping Moabs. They say they do. Oh, no, 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 more. I can't even read. It says more. I thought it said M-O-A-B, but it does help with the, uh, does it or no? Is it this one? Oh, my bad. Disregard that. I can't read. The R kind of looks like a B, so I thought it helped with Moabs, and I'm like, it doesn't though. Plus, I was kind of <laughs> just being smart about it. But yeah, it is, it's going to be really cool. It's going to be kind of fun. And as you can see, it really does help. Like the, the Moab guy is pretty cool. Not the Moab guy, but the Boomerang's pretty cool guy. Likes to work for us. But the problem is too, is that this Camo Rush is not gonna have the Wizard to help us out or the Druid. So let's see here. Not the Wizard, the Druid. Have to figure something out here. 3240. Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna roar this one because we don't have any camo popping on our druid. So we're gonna have to hope that this guy can do it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this guy's pretty strong, like he's pretty decent. He's not the best, but he does help a lot because back in the old game, he was a super efficient and Glyve Lord was relatively expensive because he was like $8,000. But in that game, that was a lot of money, I thought, because like the Spectre was 20 grand and that was max tier and uh, other things like that. So it was relatively expensive to get him because you had to wait around waiting for it to happen. And But once you got him, he was awesome. He could pop camos. He had those little glives that spin around him. And now in this one, they upped the game and made it 43,000 for the glive lord. Like, what's that about? So best you can do, I guess. So what we're gonna do here, obviously, is we're going to wait until, uh, I guess we can put some air bursts on it too to help out. Cause this is level 80 we are going to win this regardless um so we're going to have him pop and then we're going to have this guy grab it as soon as he can and then we're going to do this one so now he's going to pop all these ones before they even come look at that so that's a cool little combo so the, as you can see pat is super awesome and he does what he needs to do because so we grabbed the big balloon hugged it popped it and then we were able to use the roar to make him make everyone stronger and take out all the BFBs and the Moabs in the meantime. So super strong strat. Pat is very, uh, um, I think underrated. Like I, like I talk about, at least with me, I talk about Oban so much and I've been using Gwendolyn and Bam, but I never really use Pat and he's just so strong. And um, I should start using him more. Look at him go, look at him go. And then like I was saying, if you pair him with this guy up here, so you throw down one of these guys and you go this one, this one, this one, and then Moab press, I don't have enough money for it, but if you go Moab press, it'll just, him and Pat can just sit there and back and forth knocking these things back like crazy. So um, definitely a cool little thing if you guys wanna try that out. But in the meantime, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this half cash, no monkey knowledge for the new map on Carved. And then on Monday, hopefully I will have a hard on Muddy Puddles beat for you guys. And join me next Wednesday. So I will always have my videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, as always. But on Wednesdays, I will start streaming on Twitch around 6 to 7 p.m. Pacific. So you guys should join me on there. I hope you do. So in the meantime, please hit the subscribe button. Turn on those notifications if you want. Hit those comments. You guys know how it goes. So thank you, and I'll see you next time.